compounds. First, which we have studied, these were interstitial compounds. Now, these are the intermetallic compounds. Now, interstitial is another thing. The intermetallic compounds are another one. If the two metals show a particular affinity for one another, they may form intermetallic compounds having a precise chemical formulation. For example, silver tin. And this silver tin is present in our amalgam. Now, intermetallic compound have specific valence requirements. So, due to this, imperfections are less as compared to others. So, movement along slip plane is much less in intermetallic compound. And these materials, due to affinity and chemical affinity, they have a relatively hard and brittle structure and they are of low ductility values. 